Logging in ASP.NET is an essential aspect that can help developers debug and monitor their application's performance. However, logging can also slow down the application's performance if not implemented correctly. In this video, you will learn how to implement source generation logging by creating a partial class and a partial method. So let's get started. I have a web API project in ASP.NET for sure. And here we have the weather forecast controller that everybody knows. Now let's create a new partial class. So let's add a new class to our project. Let's call it log.cs. Now let's first of all make that class static so that we don't need an instance. Next up, let's make it partial, which basically means that we allow a class, a method or an interface to be defined in multiple parts in different files or locations. We will get to that just in a second. Here's a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Alma.io. An amazing tool for .NET developers to capture and log errors in your applications and get notified in real time when issues and exceptions occur. Their powerful search and filtering capabilities make it easy to quickly find and fix issues. So, if you are a developer looking for a reliable and user-friendly logging solution, try Alma.io today. You can find the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. Let's create a partial method. So create a public static partial void. Let's call it weather forecast requested. And let's write an extension method for that. No, if you have no clue about extension methods, go ahead and check out our video based on that. So let's write down this iLogger which basically makes it an extension method. And let's add an additional parameter, which is simply daytime so that we know when the log got created or when the weather forecast got requested. Awesome. So that said, let's use the logger message attribute. So create brackets and let's write down logger message. Now we can submit three parameters here or properties. First one is the event ID. Let's simply say 20. Then we got the level, let's say log level dot information. And then any kind of message, let's say weather forecast requested add, and then let's use the curly braces and write down date. Now in that way, the date value here will get replaced with the date value from the parameter for sure. Awesome. So now let's see how we can create a log. So let's switch into our weather forecast controller. And here we got our iLogger, right? So that one is already implemented by default. And when we scroll down, you can see that we have our get request right here, right? And every time when someone requests like the weather forecast, we want to create a log. So since we created, I want to show that since we created an extension method for the iLogger right here, we can simply take our logger object and then call our weather forecast requested. As I said, it is an extension method. So let's hit enter and let's simply write down date time dot now so that we know when the log gets created or well, when the weather forecast got requested. Now let's save and let's hit start. So since we're using open API and swagger, you can see that I can just well open that up. I can click on try it out on the right side. I can hit execute and then, well, you can see that I got a response 200. Here is the information. And if I now take a look at our program, you can see that we have a log right here, right? Information, weather forecast requested at uh, 4th of April, all of that, right? Now, let me just shut that down. And you can see that this is like the actual output of our partial void or our logger message right here. In that way, we have implemented a source generation logging, which can have a significant impact on your application's performance if you use a lot of logging. Because in that way, using C Sharp source generators, which got implemented in C Sharp 9, we can implement login that gets created at compile time rather than in runtime. Alrighty, and that's it for this video. So I hope that you've learned something new. And if you want to learn more about C Sharp, its advanced techniques, and some other cool stuff, check out our c -Sharp Progress Academy, which is a self-paced online course that teaches you ASP.NET, Angular, unit testing, and even c -Sharp software design patterns. We provide a 14-day money-back guarantee, and I'm absolutely sure that this is the fastest way 
on how you can progress as a C Sharp developer. So go ahead, check it out. You can find the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. If you want to get notified when we upload some new C Sharp content, make sure to subscribe to our channel right now and smash the like button on this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you back in the next video. Have a good one.